Passing through on your way to High Hrothgar? About to make a delivery up there myself. Mostly food supplies like dried fish and salted meats. You know, things that keep fresh for a long time. The Greybeards tend not to get out much, if you catch my meaning. Well, it's kind of an understanding between us. I mean, it just wouldn't feel right to charge them for a bit of preserved food. Trouble is, my legs aren't what they used to be, and climbing the 7,000 steps takes its toll. Really? Here, take this bag of supplies. At the top of the steps, you'll see the offering chest. Just leave the bag inside, and you're done. Well, there's the occasional wolf pack or stray, but that's all I've ever had to deal with. Shouldn't be a problem for the likes of you. Other than that, watch your footing. In these wintry conditions, the stairs can be treacherous. I've been to the monastery many times, but I've never even laid eyes on one of the Greybeards. Not that I'd care to. Being masters of the Thuum, they could kill you by uttering a single word. Well, not that they would. They seem peaceful, but I wouldn't want to provoke them. Be careful up there. Hello everyone, welcome back to Skyrim. Let's see we left off. Finally doing the way of the voice um, quest. I just want to get that whirlwind sprint, that's all I want. On, level up. Let's get going. It's all in the swing. Let me show you. There's the eye surface. Let's go. Well, then this quest, I'll do the, uh, the next piece skill quest. for wolves if you're headed up the path to High Hrothgar. I like to spend time up here. Walk the steps. Meditate. They're not the sort to take visitors. Some folk who make the trip leave them food or other... I did. Strange days when the monks will do that. I wonder what it means. Oh! 
Oh, guess where are you? I saw a small gap. Yeah, once I've done this quest, that means I have to do with those bloody cultists. Need something? Just a pilgrim. I'd prefer to leave it at walking the steps, meditating on the emblem. I was just outside Iverstead when it happened. It's an exciting moment. Nothing like this has happened in centuries. I always wish it told you how far away you were that I'm going to the map. You went in front of me, you didn't leave.
So, a dragonborn appears at this moment in the turning of the age. We will see if you truly have the gift. Show us, dragonborn. Let us taste of your voice. Strike us with the power of your voice. No, I shouldn't have to do that. Shout at us. <laughs> Dragonborn, it is you. I am Master Angir. I speak for the Greybeards. Now, tell me, Dragonborn. Why have you come here? Uh, because you fucking asked me to. We are honored to welcome a Dragonborn to High Hrothgar. We will do our best to teach you how to use your gift in fulfillment of your destiny. That is for you to discover. We can show you the way, but not your destination. We are the Greybeards, followers of the Way of the Voice. You stand in High Hrothgar, the slopes of Kinarith's sacred mountain. Here we commune with the voice of the sky and strive to achieve balance between our inner and outer selves. We are here to guide you in that pursuit, just as the Greybeards have sought to guide those of the dragon blood that came before you. You are not the first. There have been many of the dragon blood since Akatosh first bestowed that gift upon mortal kind. Whether you are the only dragonborn of this age, that is not ours to know. You are the only one that has been revealed thus far. That is all I can say. You have shown that you are dragonborn. You have the... Without training, you have already taken the first steps towards projecting your voice into a thum, a shout. Now let us see if you are willing and able to learn. When you shout, you speak in the language of dragons. Thus, your dragon blood gives you an inborn ability to learn words of power. Shouts are made up of three words of power. As you master each word, your shout will become progressively stronger. Master Einarth will now teach you Ro, the second word in unrelenting force. Ro means balance in the dragon tongue. Combine it with Fus, force, to focus your thumb more sharply. Fus <laughs> Part of your initiation, Master Einarth will allow you to tap into his understanding of Rome. Use your unrelenting force shout to strike the targets as they appear. Well done. Again. 
again. So this way it charges my shops quicker. You learn quickly. Once more. Your thumb is precise. You show great promise, Dragon. We will perform your next trial in the courtyard. Follow Master Bori. Master Wolfgar will demonstrate whirlwind sprint. Then it will be your turn. Master Bori? Rex! Now it's your turn. Stand next to me. Master Bori will open the gate. You. Your whirlwind sprint to pass through before it closes. Quick mastery of a new thume is uh, astonishing. I'd heard the stories of the abilities of Dragonborn, but to see it for myself? No, indeed not. But beware that your skill does not outstrip your wisdom. You are now ready for your last trial. Retrieve the horn of Jurgen Windcaller, our founder, from his tomb in the ancient fane of Ustengraf. Remain true to the way of the voice, and you will return. No doubt, the appearance of a dragonborn at this time is not an accident. Your destiny is surely bound up with the return of the dragons. You should focus on honing your voice and soon your path will be made clear. Good. Then you will be ready for whatever lies ahead. Five. Our leader, Parthenax, lives alone on the peak of the throat of the world. When your voice can open the path, you will know you are ready to speak to him. As I said, you will know you are ready when your voice can open the path. He was a great war leader of the ancient Nords, a master of the voice or tongue. After the disaster at Red Mountain, where the Nord army was annihilated, 
He spent many years pondering the meaning of that terrible defeat. He finally came to realize that the gods had punished the Nords for their arrogant and blasphemous misuse of the voice. He was the first to understand that the voice should be used solely for the glory and worship of the gods, not the glory of men. Jürgen Windcaller's mastery of the voice eventually overcame all opposition, and the way of the voice was born. Sky, got you. Alright guys, till next time.